Hello and welcome everyone, this is episode 18 and I'm Dougie O'Brien going through my No Man's Sky Beyond playthrough. And the last time, we built the mine arc, and now we're gonna go deliver it to Artemis and see what happens. So I gotta apologize, I usually record two episodes a week. Uh, last week I was kind of... I guess not busy is the word. I got lazy, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I was taking some time off, playing a lot of Overwatch, um, and yeah, I didn't get around to it. Apologize for that, but I'm gonna get back on the grind. Back to your weekly scheduling. I'm trying to get to that marker there but the anomaly is look at this it went from all the way down here to all the way up here when I pulse jump I'm not moving it as promise this only happens when I play with the controller here we go I'm stuttering a little bit I don't know where that's coming from I feel like my computer is slowly dying because I was playing apex as well I'm in a, in a huge apex mood right now and playing the crap out of that game. And when I have the browser up, when I have Firefox up at the same time, the game will crash. So usually I'm listening to ASMR or a little bit of music. ASMR helps me focus. Uh, it's like clean, clean sound. I like the sound effects one. I don't care about the people talking as much, but yeah. I don't know. I can't listen to it anymore. Right. I don't know what's dying in my computer, but it's about time. Also, very handy. <laughs> I don't know if it's timely. I have a AMD CPU. I have the... I don't remember which one. FX 8350, I think. Um, yeah, apparently there's a class action lawsuit where you can get some money back if you buy a processor because they advertise the number of cores it has incorrectly I guess it was misleading I don't think anyone's interested in that but I'll just skip over that <laughs> but yeah I guess it worked out there we go let's see what happens to Artemis also I always found it so silly that the yellow glowing orb would fly from the first podium to the second one why don't I just keep it in the second podium to begin with, you know what I mean? What happens if it doesn't fly and land correctly, you know? Okay, we're gonna use a mind arc. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury, some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flesh. Restored to life before my eyes, but it's not to be. One moment I see their hologram, and the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over, their signal still active. No, you sly, sly robot man. Travelers are a dream, an idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it. You had it. Apollo too, though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend, walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone, not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest secrets... I mispronounced that. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of the glass or the aerons or the progenitors. It is the final act. This is the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friend, friends wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Mm, getting philosophical there. For a, a light bulb, it's... It's a lot of thoughts. I guess you could say he has a lot of bright ideas. <laughs> uh. Alright. Oh 
wonder... I wonder... What the first traveler did. It says abandoning others for your own existence. So... I wonder... What happened. This would make for a great sci-fi drama, by the way. I mean, the story and pacing would have to be a bit tweaked. The pacing especially for a TV show or a movie, but... I think if you serialize the storyline in a TV format, it'd be fantastic. I'm imagining Lost, but like good. <laughs> like flashbacks, uh, you know, you don't know what happened. You see the past through flashbacks. Uh, I think I think that'll be perfect, to be honest. Bring Artemis to Nada. A copy of Artemis has been stored in the mine arc. Altered Carbon. Coming soon to theaters near you. <laughs> Instead of switching bodies, you just switch jars. You inhabit a new jar. Brought to you by Mason. Friend entity Polo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not complete. Not fading. Not as visor light flares, burning with concern and distress. Let's reassure him first. I tell Nada that I am well. My condition has not changed since I emerged from the portal. Not a reflexes, but a question still. Hands in the air? What? I think it means hangs in the air, right? Question still hands in the air. I'm gonna say that from now on. <laughs> I'm gonna raise my hand. I mean, the question still hands in the air. I tell them about Artemis, about Null, and about the mind arc. The vessel glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I, I never thought to see a traveler soul. You are so beautiful. But friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. This arc is no rescue. Why? Artemis Echo will never have a body again, will never explore again. Old life gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not a machine is something living, a refuge. There's a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Uh, let's, let's ask about the simulation. Ask what life would be like inside the simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced. But if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends, such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose. Why is it up to me? Is there another way? Gestures, appreciative, disconcerting. A robot man trying to nod his head. Huh. This is a tough, tough question. I think it's a great, great question to ask for science fiction. Uh, basically, you know, let's say you died. You have a choice. Just to end there or to live on in a simulation knowing that nothing is real. So... What shall we do? What shall we do? I always put Artemis in as a simulation because my viewpoint, at least for me, is that as long as you're alive, I feel like there's a way. This kind of reminds me of a Doctor Who episode where um, shadow creatures kill the, their physical bodies of these people, but he uploaded their consciousness to a simulation and they could live on like that. And I think there's always, if you're alive, there's always a well. Way. I was gonna say where, where there's a will, there's a way, and I combined those two words together. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> Go and speak with Polo Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines no matter what your decision. Whatever you do, I'm proud of your compassion. You are a traveler friend. You're a traveler friend. Yeah, I don't think it should be up to me to decide Artemis's fate though, you know? It should be up to Artemis. Now, I told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you no matter your choice. I will prepare the machine. It is not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Okay. 
Where's the private terminal? Uh, it's over there. Huh? Is it in here? Uh, you could say nada. <laughs> uh, this is not a tuma. Where's this private? See, in the old pre Beyond update, it was just a simple room with the Corvac simulation terminal. The ancient. This the machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is crafted it is clearly tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper, not as faint hum over the speaker as they commune with the machine. The words on a panel unscramble themselves. Not an entity authorization detected. Secondary simulation right enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, so dear to Nada, you will act as home for Artemis, should I wish it. What a tough choice. I don't think it should be up to me. Mm. Let's upload Artemis. I uploaded Artemis to the simulation, a spark of blue light blazing through the air before me. It fades after a moment, disappearing into the depths of the machine. See, this is such a hard choice because what if Artemis finds out that they died and then now they're stuck in a simulation forever. And it's like, it's terrible. It's ter- like no one should have that power <laughs> over someone else's life. Terrifying. This should be like a Black Mirror episode or something. Nara tells me that it is done for my sake. They will permit transmissions to and from the simulation, at least while the anomaly passes through safe systems. They warn me that Artemis will need some time to grow adjusted to their new life. Hmm. Broadcast message? Okay. What uh this is why I love the story in No Man's Sky by the way. See like the text is seemingly underwhelming, but if you think about what actually is happening, it's it's very weighty. There's a there's a weight to it if you consider what's actually happening. Um And the game doesn't really hit you over the head with the story and it doesn't tell you how you should feel or anything. It's kinda of like up to you. That's why I, that's why I love this this story. All right, continue to investigate Null. All right, that is done. We will return to space and contact Apollo. Wonder how he will take the news. I also like the the lore behind the travelers. It's kind of like the spirit of exploration of. M imagination and discovery that we all have as humans. At our core, I strongly believe it. With strong desire to to create, to express something inside. All right. Yes, I'm receiving Apollo. It is a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we have not spoken for a long time. Explain. TL. <laughs> DR. Oops. I hit my table. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It's just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the atlas itself. You saw it. You met the Atlas, the Gek, the Corvax. They worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought. Are you alright? I can imagine what you've gone through. Yeah, it was just a machine. It's like, hello world. I tell Apollo the things the Atlas said. How it spoke with travelers and sentinels as if it were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me, I felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts. 
at all. At least it's gonna harm you. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. And I think I think there's something in what you you've just said. The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of this Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Uh, yeah, there are more important things, Apollo. There's more p important things. Yeah, the Atlas felt hostile and explicable in its motives and purpose, not to mention all that has happened since. I tell Apollo of Artemis' grave, my encounter with the mysterious traveler Null. I suggest there's more going on here than an opportunity to earn units. Artemis is dead. Yes. Yes, Apollo. How? Who would? I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared. They believe. And I... What's happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. I uploaded Artemis into a simulation. <laughs> hmm. He's initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explain the nature of what I did. I tell him Artemis his soul lives on only within a civil simulation, unable to go beyond. Will they be happy? I don't know actually. You did the right thing, you tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. I don't know about that. We'll see. I don't even know Artemis. <laughs> I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith. Search for patterns in the data. These things are machines. We simply need to understand their code. Alright. Locate a monolith. It's not this easy, by the way. <laughs> You have to get planetary coordinates to locate a monolith. Okay, a ley line. Get out of here, pirates. We don't negotiate with pirates. Let's see how many ships are arriving here. Just one. We can shoot one single pirate. It's two allied. This the combat in regular mode is kind of brain dead, to be honest. I'm not even flying the ship right now. I'm just literally rotating in space. This may be a bother, but uh. You do get milestones out of it, so, you know, if you care about milestones, I would suggest shooting pirates until you get all your milestones done. It's really easy. And that is Explorer class ship, by the way. Which I find kind of funny. Alright. Back to the ley line. Use a monolith to learn the location of a portal. That's actually how you do it in the game, by the way. If you can't find a portal, go find a monolith, and then there's an option to locate the portal, and then you can go to a portal. And I would drop like a beacon or a yeah, a base computer there. You can build a base on the portal if you want. So you you always have access to one. Um, and then to unlock the portal glyphs, you need to spend a hundred nanites. And you have to find a traveler, and you'll learn a glyph pattern. Oh, I thought I landed. Flying too fast, nonsense. Alright. First contact. Uh 
I'm gonna activate the knowledge tune, but it's not giving me the prompt. You know the drill, scan everything that you see. Free units, free nanites, always worth doing. At least in the very beginning. Uh, where, where does tiny little... They disappeared. Oh, I guess they're on the other side of the, the hill here. That looks uh, very phallic. <laughs> Honestly, super easy units. Um, the deer creature that's being attacked by the pyramid head. Okay. There we go. Knowledge is power. Pyramid head. So look in the sky for burbs. There might be a burb in the sky. Okay, I think I scan most things here. You don't really have to go out of your way to scan everything, uh, although there is a milestone for scanning all of the animals on a planet. And to do that, I'm gonna give you guys a tip here. It's much easier if you go to like a red star system, a green or blue, and find a planet where it literally only has one animal on it. It's one of these weird planets. They're anomaly types with the collectible decorations. You kind of saw one on your first trip to the Atlas. And those planets only have one weird animal. And it's super easy because you just scan that one animal and you're done. That's it. So that's my pro tip for you there. Uh, and you're more likely to run into those kind of systems on a... I mean, with the if the star is colored, so... Oh. Pillars of Ohibornusol. Nussel? I don't even know how to pronounce these words. I see the stone of the monolith. It's immovable muted silver, and yet something lurks beneath. It is gray and yet not gray. Crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. How the heck is something gray yet not gray? Portal ley line activated. Locate the portal. The cake is a lie. Unidentified plant. Can't let that be. I remember before Beyond, you could scan the dihydrogen crystals. And then they're like, you know what? That's stupid. You just scan it one time and you're good to go. So then they updated that. But then what happened was every planet it had crystals. You couldn't scan them again, but it said it was unscanned and that drove me insane <laughs> and now it's just there so I'm glad they they fixed that I know that's like a a bug that probably no one will care about but uh, it drove me crazy okay. by the way I love using controller for this game it's a lot a lot easier for me, at least. Easy, way easier flying, that's for sure. Alright. Is that... That's scan, yeah. I thought so. You know what, let's, let's keep some items here because you can trade it to the dude at the anomaly for nanites. 
You could normally sell these as well. Uh, I don't know if the sentinel's gonna come bother me for harvesting these. They usually don't. It's more like the Gravitino Spheres. These are not good as as good as the larval cores. But you still get a wee bit of money for them. 45,000. Not too bad. Okay, let's see if we can see any creatures to scan. Those give you the most money. Yeah, this is just the quickest way to make money when you first start off. I definitely think it's worth getting the three S class upgrades to your scan advisor. Highly recommend it. That was actually a pro tip I got from actual Kevin, because he was one of the first No Man's Sky streamers I watched, and uh, he learned it from a guy named BKB BK something Green Mango Black Mango. I so, it was something Mango. <laughs> I forgot, it's been a while. The ashes of the Nurgan, the nerds. And this is, I find this a wee bit, a wee bit uh, annoying, if I'm being honest here, where I have to power these glyphs. <laughs> Use regular carbon because that's the material that I don't I care the least about. Okay, oh gotta use. I'm not gonna use cadmium because that's hard to get. I like the nicknames that everyone gives for these glyphs. By the way, like this could be a sun. You can call it a jellyfish if you use your imagination. Uh, it's hilarious. Like, what the heck is this thing? What is this? <laughs> could be a house. Could be a, a guy with really thick legs. You don't know. Could be anything. Who knows how aliens think like? Traveler capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I'm, I am unsure if I should listen. Request this planet's address. There you have it, folks. This is the planet for my playthrough. If anyone wanted to visit me, you can just type those in and you'll come to this very portal. Okay. Well, I should probably take a screenshot of that. There you go. I uh, just have that for a record. Alright, now what do I do? Related to Apollo. I wanted to go through the portal. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Alright. Let's go talk to Apollo. Then we shall see where it leads. Where is the hollow terminus? Is it on the same planet? It is indeed. Just a short hop and a skip away. Didn't hurt at all. <laughs> I do a better roll. This reminds me of playing Star Fox. I always thought Slippy was the most useless ally. And we got like Peppy, the grizzled vet. You got Falco, the spunky rival. And then you have Slippy, who's always dying. <laughs> like, Come on, Slippy, do something useful for the team. Team Star Fox. 
Then you got Star Wolf, the the emo emo enemy. Very edgy. I like how the boss is a giant monkey. Which doesn't really make sense to me. He's huge. Just shooting him in the head too. Doesn't make sense. Alright, multiple signals detected. And then it just has one option. Tune to Apollo. What is up, Apollo? Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full. Does he even have a stomach? And I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. Oh, you have a farm, Apollo? Mostly fruit I found in my travels, but I'm hoping to expand. Anyways, this is no concern of yours. Actually, it is. How in the world do you even eat? It's not a mouth slot there, is it? Hmm. We have a portal to attend to, do we not? We do. As I look at Apollo, I think of all that I saw within the portal, of what happened to Artemis when they walked the same path. I think of the face of the Atlas, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I did not know if the portals are safe. YOLO! <laughs> I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from this so-called Null. They warn me to be careful too. We'll do, buddy. We'll do. Boy, that was quick. Just talking to Null right afterwards. Two lost souls. One who cared too much. One who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. True that. True that. I know I did once upon a time. I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with the portals. But whatever you did, I am here now and I need your help. The Atlas. Is that what you think it is? Something is happening to the Al universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Yeah, why don't I need my help if they know everything? The Sentinels do not just keep the peace across the universe, their motives run deeper than that, seeking out anomalies in the multiversal structure and eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a Sentinel would do if they came across my form? They probably will put you in the corner and put like a lampshade on your head. <laughs> no, it has to be you, Traveler. There's an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crash freighter of great interest to our investigation. There. There we will find the first secret. I'm sure of it. How does he know, by the way? Know that the Atlas is neither an enemy nor friend to us, no more than the air or the wind that might be called such names. But it is terrified, it is in pain, and we have a responsibility to help its suffering, no matter the cost. Okay, if you say so, it's like a Deus Ex Machina, sort of, where it's just like a dude drops in and it's like, Hey, hey. Here's the ending. <laughs> Here is your next quest. But yeah, just imagining the story in TV, a TV serial format, I would be amazing. I can see it in my head. All right. We're gonna go to the observatory next time. That's right, I'm ending on a cliffhanger. And by cliffhanger, I mean like a tiny little cliff that you can step over. It's like a wee bit off the ground. <laughs> I don't think anyone's really excited to know what happens next. And this riveting story of Artemis in a simulation of Null and Apollo. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. 
If you have any questions, comments, or things you would like to see, please feel free to leave them down below, and I'll do my best to answer in a timely fashion. Uh, thank you once again for dropping by. Also, I've been on the grind. I applied to some sites where content creators can hook up with publishers to get keys to games. So I got approved on one of them, so I'll try to bring more content from different games. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that as well. If you have like a certain game you would like for me to cover, please feel free to let me know as well. Anyways, thank you, and once again, till next time. <laughs>